Hello and welcome back to the craft box. My name is Brent and today we are on episode 35 of Completionist Crafter back in Aquila. Um, my blood moss plan worked really well. We are crafting the Adept's Mantle of Winter today. Obviously all of the things we need are here. Um, and always as always on screen is everything you need, all of the requirements and such. Ooh, a treasure chest. Frost Beetle TC, not that important. Um, yes, let's uh, head on home and craft this bad boy up and then I'm going to quickly show you my um, my uh, pink dandelion farm because that is the best way I've found to get blood moss. Um, it's not really one of those videos but I thought I should probably just mention it again. Um, because in these you do actually need a lot of blood moss and blood moss is extremely difficult to get. Um, but yeah, otherwise most of everything else apart from red mandrake, red mandrake can be a bit of a pain as well. Um, it's pretty easy to get, um, obviously a lot of it's just buying or transmuting, but there we go, Adept's Mantle of Winter, um, let's, let's have a look at that, um, hats, we have 20, 220 damage, um, health, I can't speak this morning, 3% power pip, 2% resist, 8% fire resist, 2% ice, um, accuracy, 3% ice damage, and 8% storm resist, obviously, um, ice school only, level 30, um, on screen will be the comparison to the Zeus hat from Aquila as well, just so you can get a juicy comparison between the two. Um, but yeah, I'm going to quickly head over to my botanical garden house, and I will show you the best thing about these um, pink dandelions. Um, essentially, these pink dandelions um, get to roll the blood moss every single time you can harvest them so if you keep coming back every single day you can just get more and more blood moss because you can harvest them um at least four or five times before they come out i haven't even had these out yet and i've gotten so much blood moss this isn't even the full farm yet um last time i think i showed you it was like still baby but now they're um not doing too bad i've only just harvested them in the last like hour so they've still got a wee while to go until they can be harvested again but they are so so useful for blood moss um i went from basically no blood moss to 30 blood moss in two days so um yeah would highly recommend if you're doing these um aquila crafting stuff or just any crafting to have a pink dandelion farm it makes it so much easier um obviously you can find um ways to get this i just made this up myself this plot size and whatnot so yeah anyway thank you for watching them to like and subscribe if you're already subscribed press the wee little bell so you know exactly when i post another video and remember to craft outside the box